series as you can see there uh, it's the oh quilt top it's got a weird that series of numbers and, and letters for the model that it's called um, to start off it is um, weight relieved which I'm not a big fan of I, I but I still love this guitar um, it is mahogany you probably can't see it that well um, and it is got a mahogany neck so yeah mahogany body mahogany neck it's got this wonderful beautiful rosewood uh, fingerboard with the uh, trapezoid inlays um, it's got this abalone 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 I've heard it said different ways both ways uh, all the way around it it's got the binding all the way around it so you'll see it on the headstock on the uh, fretboard and all the way around this guitar it's gorgeous I think I uh, some people will say it's gaudy but uh, I think it's gorgeous it's got this uh, quilted maple top on it it's kind of a it's a carved top kind of um, and it's, it's, I just think, I love quilted maple. Absolutely love it. Um, it's got a, what the website says is a honey burst finish, but in all lights, the, I guess they didn't have a consistent spray or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't quite know. This looks more like a cherry, cherry burst, sunburst, if you ask me. But uh, according to the website, this is a honey burst. Um, wonderful guitar and going back to the neck is this neck is really really thin really thin uh, like <laughs> Ivan is wizard almost um, so but yeah that's pretty much the, the basics of it um, for the electronics and hardware uh, the hardware you know we got uh, six these are Hamer tuners and they uh, I don't quite know the gear ratio on them but I do know that they're actually really nice tuners yeah it'll go out of tune if you don't play it for a while or if you bend really hard like I do sometimes um, but uh, it, uh, it, uh, it keeps in tune pretty well um, for the um, pickups we have it, it comes this built the way Hamer does it is they have Duncan design pickups which uh, they probably follow the uh, the way that uh, Seymour Duncans are made, but it's not a Seymour Duncan. It's probably made in China, something. I don't know. It sounds all right, I think. Um, I'll play it, play some stuff with a clean, clean tone. Uh, and then for the knobs here, we have a neck volume, bridge volume, and a master tone. And then of course your pickup selector switch, which I do believe one of my pots right here is uh, one of the volumes is going out along with the switch. I've had it for a couple of years now, uh, and <laughs> I've, I've not exactly been easy on it. I mean, I've not been rough. I didn't just throw it anywhere, but I've, you know, when it comes to volume, I not very, you know, I I I jerk that around a little bit. But you know, of course, the positions of this is this is now the neck pickup. This is both pickups. And this is the bridge pickup, which I think is a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing to have, to have the two pickups, the two volumes on there, because, you know, you can silence it. It's like a kill switch almost. Uh, but uh, here's a little, just some chords through uh, full volume on the neck pickup. full 
whole volume on the bridge. guitar is great for classic rock, blues, um, just rock and roll in general. Um, but it's great blues guitar, you know, it's got that, you know. I know I wasn't going into any blues scale or anything there, but... It's just a wonderful guitar. If you can ever get your hands on one of these, I would snatch it up. Um, it's kind of got a uh, Les Paul-ish shape. Uh, just the fact that it's double cut here. Um, and you put it next to Les Paul. It's a little bit smaller. It's a smaller body guitar. Uh, very light. Like I said, it was weight relieved. But, um, and it's, it's, a, it's, you know, it's thinner. Um, I love this guitar. I love it. Uh, I'll play, I'll show you here. We have, uh, I got a pedal board here that I made with a bunch of my buddies. Uh, this is my kind of my pedal system. I've got the uh, Digitech here. Um, and it's got, of course, the RP-155, which is a multi-effects processor. It's a cheap one, but it, it does the job. I got a... Uh, Gaia Tone Metal Monster. Yeah, that's a tube in there. That's a wonderful little addition. Uh, you know, it gives me a nice, gives me a nice, uh, wonderful, uh, heavy sound, uh, even through this monster amp. Um, and then this guy right here, which I, I was playing through at the beginning of the video, which is MXR 78 Distortion. This is a wonderful little uh, pedal, and it does great with the classic rock or just rock and roll in general. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, you get kind of heavy with it, but it's wonderful pedal. Um, and then, of course, my loop station, which uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with right now. I'm not sure uh, anytime I try to loop something, and maybe if you see this, uh, you can uh, help me out with it. But anytime I try to loop something and I play it, and of course I only have the one input and the one output on it because I'm I'm not I don't know what I'm doing with it. Uh, whenever it comes to it, because it's got input A, input B, output A, output B. I don't I don't know. But uh, anytime I do that and I and I play the loop, it'll it'll play the loop just fine. But whenever I go to play over it, it'll it'll either cut out the loop or it'll cut out whatever I'm playing so uh, or the lead I guess we call it the lead just for short I don't know but uh, that's not part of this video I'll get I'll go to that later but uh, I'll play a little bit through this uh, 78 distortion and uh, and uh, uh, we'll see what you think just some classic rock riffs that I know off the top of my head or maybe just some stuff I pick up. This is all bridge pickup right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Guitar. This is Vanchman signing off. Rock on.